seconds out. My name is Johnny Rombos. We're the great fighter to be in the making. Junior, give us your thoughts on the fight. What are your recommendations? Are you going to hurt him? Me? 100%. That's the goal. I've been training hard to put him away. You know, I I don't see this fight going the distance. I'm going to take the risk on taking him out, maybe in the mid-round somewhere. That's how I see the fight going. So you've been watching any footage of him in the last, particularly his last 41? What do you mean? You, you, know, you know of him over the years? He's had 33 fights, obviously you had 19. So what are your thoughts on how are you going to hurt him? Lucas Brown has been consistent in his, in his career where he depends on his power. That's all he has. Um, boxing ability is not there. The boxing ability with me is very much there. So I'm just planning to like outbox him. I've been basically watching him every night before I go to bed. You know, I'm just like studying, see, seeing what his patterns are, what what he likes to do, what what he doesn't like to do. So I've been doing a lot of study on him. Um, and so tomorrow, like, it's just going to be good because I can actually do what I see in my head. So, yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. You must be excited about the fact there'll be 55,000 people at that stadium. I, when I played at my level of footy, AFL, that ground too was obviously 60-odd thousand. So that 55,000, it's absolutely going to be a magnificent feeling. How's the mental feel about it? It's Yeah, it's going to be good. I've been doing like a lot of um, mental preparation, a lot of breathing preparation just to make sure that my mental space isn't going crazy because I know the crowd is going to be crazy. I mean, at the weigh-in right now, it's going crazy, you know, with the... Um, with all the fights coming up. So I've, I've, I've done the mental work. I've done the breathing work. I know I'm going to be fine in the walk-in and I know I'm going to be fine in the ring. So I'm just looking forward to having fun. Well, you do win the fight come Sunday. What's Where, where do you go next? Overseas. Overseas, you know, um, big fights overseas, especially in the UK. Heavyweight division in the UK is booming right now. That's exactly where I want to go. Um, but it's either the UK or the US, anywhere there. Any name that's bigger than mine is fine with me. And prediction for the week, obviously the main fight being George and Haney. What's your thoughts about being a fighter yourself? Where will it go? We'll go the distance, will be a knockout. What's your predictions? Oh man, like both both fighters are fired up, you know? Both fighters are fired up. We just saw the weigh in. Uh George Camosis has yet to make weight, so um, whether that's gonna play in uh, whether that's going to affect them tomorrow with with his performance, I don't know. So hopefully he can still maintain his veracity, how 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 he usually is in his fights. You know, he like usually comes with a lot of intensity, a, a lot of punches and bunches. Hopefully he can still maintain that, even though he's probably struggling with the weight. So if he can, I can see him winning this fight with a close decision. If he can't, then I can see Devin how uh, that means I can see Devin Haney outboxing him all night. Thank you for your time. All the best. Hold well on.